Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, even though I've done one of these videos before, I'm still not sure how to start this. Um, I cannot believe it's been one whole year, uh, a little over a year since my first collaboration with e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I cannot believe I am here to tell you about our second collection. I already feel the tears coming on <laughs> and I'm a little bit nervous, so please stick with me. I don't even know where to start. The love for round one was so outstanding and something that I really never expected. Um, it's one thing to put yourself into the palette and you're creating it and you think it's amazing and then when everyone else reciprocates the love, it is the best feeling in the world. And I'm so happy everyone understood the vision of round one. Before we jump into the products, I just wanna say, if round one was a dream, Round two is a utopia of color. As you know, if you're familiar with my channel, color is the thing I feel most beautiful in. I love colorful eyeshadow, and that's pretty much what this whole collection is based off of. There are so many special elements that went into this collection, and I guess I should just pull up the products because I've been waiting for a long time to show you our second collaboration. Oh my gosh, it's finally here. Um, we have so many products to dive into. We have a brush set. We have an 18 pan eyeshadow palette. The first collection was seven shades. This is 18. And then we have a liquid eyeshadow duo. And there's an overarching theme that I really wanted to infuse into this collection that's a big, huge part of my life, um, and that is adoption. If you know me, you know I've adopted both of my dogs, Suki and Zuma. Suki had her own eyeshadow dedicated to her eye color in the first round. And the second round is all about adoption and I wanted to bring another element of adoption into this. So as you will see throughout the palette, all of the shades are named after dogs that have been adopted that are in my life through friends or family or dogs that need to be adopted through Angel City Pitbulls. And with that being said, if you post a picture with your favorite pet, it doesn't have to be a dog, it can be a reptile, a cat, whatever pet that you love, you post a photo on Instagram and you use the hashtag eyes, lips, face, paws, uh, Elf will donate $1 for every photo up to $20,000 to Angel City Pitbulls. This is amazing. It is going to help them so much. Um, we went and I was able to go and hang out with Angel City Pitbulls and learn more about their rescue and it was just so lovely to meet everyone. We had met people when we adopted Zuma, um, but really getting to see the behind the scenes. It's all volunteer ran and it's just such a wonderful rescue and they work really hard to get every dog adopted to the perfect family. The whole entire rescue is volunteer ran, so this will be able to get them great resources um, and that makes me really excited and very honored that Elf wanted to do a charitable aspect with this because for me, Makeup is something beautiful, but I wanted this collection to stand for much more than just makeup and just feeling beautiful and colorful shadows. I really wanted to infuse um, my love for my girls in it. As you know, my love for e.l.f. runs very deep. I absolutely adore every aspect of the company. Um, and so if you loved round one, I will always, myself, I will always love round one because it was my baby, um, but with round two, we pushed the envelope, we took it there, we tried our best to transcend the first round and bring you just a color explosion, a utopia of color, and the e.l.f. team, Sydney, Miles, Hannah, Grant, Kristen, Terang, Rich, Nairi, I know you put so much love into this collection yourself, and I am so honored that not only my first, but my second collab is with Elf. I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe I even had a round one, and now we're doing round two, and it's just so much fun, and I cannot wait to show you everything. So I know I'm rambling, um, and we're almost to swatching and showing off the products, I promise, but I wanted to say one last thing before we get into that. You all are so amazing. I hope I made you proud with this collection. And just like with the first collection, for the first thousand orders on elfcosmetics.com, you will be getting a hand-signed and handwritten thank you card from myself. And there is also an exclusive sticker sheet that will be in there. And then for the thousand orders after that, it will just be the exclusive sticker sheet. Um, so I'm very excited and I think you guys will really like the stickers. 
So now that I'm done rambling, uh, let's get into the swatches and everything. So here is the outer packaging for the palette itself. As you can see, it is much bigger and we wanted to keep with the flash tattoo design, but amplify it somehow and you will see in just a second. This is so exciting. I can't believe I'm showing this. All right, so here is the To The Rescue palette. Now I know you're probably thinking this is a little bland. Where, where's the tattoo flash that's on the outside? And that is because we have a sticker sheet where you can actually decorate your own palette. Um, normally palettes come with a clear acetate sheet that typically gets thrown away. Um, it's to protect not only the shadows but the mirror inside. So we wanted to give that acetate sheet some purpose. And so we decided to have it be where you decorate your own palette however you want. Also, you don't have to use stickers. If you're an artist and you want to paint on this, you totally can. Um, that's what I love about makeup is you can create so many different looks and I think that that's really reflective of the packaging um, and Suki and Zuma have their own stickers which are personally my favorite ones but that's because I'm a little biased. We have a lot of um, elements from the first round kind of amplified and it's just so much fun to decorate your own palette. And so also we have an alphabet here, as you can see, so you can really customize and make your own. You can put your pet's name on there. You can put your name on there. Um, on mine, I put Chris with a little heart. So um, you can really kind of just make it however you want to. So this is my first palette that I decorated myself. And then for the video, I decorated like this. So as you can see, there is quite a big difference once you start putting the stickers on. And I absolutely love the way these turned out. I think that they're so cute and so fun. So we decided on the name To The Rescue because it has a dual meaning. Um, obviously, when you are going to adopt a dog, you are going to go to a rescue and so that is the first meaning and then the second meaning is that colorful eyeshadow has always been there to rescue me and makeup in general has always been there when I've needed rescuing um, through a hard time or something like that um, makeup has always been that for me so I want you to think of this palette as something that when you need rescuing it will be there for you and you will be able to express your creativity and um, feel beautiful in this collection Okay, so when you bring it out of the box, when you open it, the sticker sheet will be right there so you can see it. And then this is what it looks like when it's open. I wanted to create my perfect version of a rainbow palette and this is it. It is so cool. There is a hard closure here so you know exactly when it's closed. And as you can see, there's also a giant mirror here. So if you are someone that travels, it's really great for travel because not only is it super thin and sturdy, it also has that giant mirror so you don't need to bring another mirror or look for anything else. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into the shades. Now with every e.l.f. product, it is vegan and cruelty-free and I'm so excited because it is also eye safe. Now, creating a vegan, red, and even a vegan purple that's eye safe is mind-blowing I don't know how they did it but they did it and here it is so I'm gonna go row to row and touch on each shade briefly and swatch them for you so you can see what they look like first off is the shade Casey and we started with a bang with this bright red I named it Casey because my best friend Megan as you may know um, she had her own shade in the first collection called danger um, her dog Casey loved wearing a little red dress and so when I asked her what color would you say is Casey she immediately went red and so this is dedicated to Casey up next we have a bright orange right here called Millie so obviously some of these are named after dogs and Angel City Pitbulls that I myself haven't personally met. Um, so if I don't go in deep into stories about each one of them, that is why. But with that said, let's move on to this bright matte yellow. It is so gorgeous and it is called Yosemite. Up next is the shade Peaky. It is like a Kelly green, I would say, um, is how I would describe it. It is gorgeous. It blends out really nicely. Um, all of these, I think, blend out really beautifully. Um, but Peaky especially just transforms once it's like all blended throughout the crease. Up next, we have this bright blue shade called Cannoli, which is also another dog from Angel City Pitbulls. And um, when I saw the picture of Cannoli, um, I just loved, fell in love with cannoli. 
<laughs> and so um, I wasn't sure what shade would fit Cannoli, but I think blue works the best. And then up next we have the purple shade called Sadie. Um, Sydney from the e.l.f. team who is a product developer, um, she has a beautiful pit named Sadie and so this is her shade. And I will say with Sadie it is pressed a little bit more firm so I suggest when you are going to pick up this product to pick up a little bit more than you think or build up just a little bit more in the crease. So this second row is designed to give depth and or dimension um, to the first row and to complement the shimmers. So with that being said, here is Pepper. It's a bit deeper. It leans uh, just a touch on the burgundy side where Casey is super, super bright. Um, pepper is like a true pepper color. <laughs> Up next, we have an insanely bright orange named after my girl Zuma. Um, if I had to describe her in a color and her personality in a color would be this orange because it's it's bright, it's intense, it's loud, and it's so fun just like her. Up next we have Paloma, which Paloma was one of the shades that I think I went back and forth the most on. When we were getting samples, it leaned a little bit too close to mac and cheese and from the first round, not mac and cheese in general. Um, <laughs> but I really wanted it to be a deep yellow and Paloma is actually named after, if you know Mariah Leonard here on YouTube, she was one of my closest friends and this is named after her dog Paloma that she adopted and I love Paloma. Her and Zuma are like kindred spirits so I just love that they're next to each other because I think that's just so funny. And here we have a deep matte green called Tank. Tank was our family's pit bull. Um, more so when I moved, my mom adopted him, and so I wouldn't see him as much as my mom did. Um, he unfortunately passed away due to epilepsy, but I wanted to have a shade in here dedicated to him and my mom because my mom and Megan will always be something that is infused into everything I do. Thatcher is up next. Thatcher, okay, so I based this off of the eyeliner from round one. I... After seeing that eyeliner and falling in love with it, I was like, I need this in an eyeshadow. And so that is where Thatcher came in, and it was really just brought to life. And I love that you can use Tank to deepen up Thatcher. So that's why um, Thatcher isn't too deep of a navy. And when it blends out, it's not going to blend gray or black either. Thank goodness. Um, you know that I'm not a fan of that. Okay, and then moving on to this deep purple we have. It is called Pretty Girl. And I just love the name. I think it's so cute. And when I think of a deep purple, I just always think of it being so beautiful and pretty. Let's get to the bottom row. These shimmers are mind-blowing. Oh my goodness. As you can tell, I have some on my eyes today. And so we'll go one by one. And as you can see, you know that my girls had to be the oranges because orange is my favorite. Uh, but first up, let's talk about strawberry. Strawberry is a beautiful, again, it, it leans almost a bit burgundy, but it still has that red element in there, which was really important to me. I wanted each row to have some monochromatic vibes. So if you were stuck on what look to create, um, maybe it's just one of those days where you're like, I don't have any ideas. You can go row by row. And so strawberry was really one of those that I wanted. It, it looks like a strawberry. Um, I really wanted it to have a similar hue to the other two. And for my most favorite shade in the palette, Suki. My girl, she is everything to me, her and Zuma. Of course they had to be next to each other, but this shade is my favorite and I think it will be a lot of your favorites too because it is, it does have that orange quality to it, but also it can lean a little bit more on the neutral side. You can mix it in with a bunch of these shades too if you wanted it to be a little bit, if you wanted a strawberry to be a little bit lighter. It's also great inner corner color and so Suki is just like my go, my go-to girl. And my go-to shadow. Okay, so here we have Firefly, and Firefly is a gorgeous deep yellow shimmer. Um, if you slick this all over your lid, it's going to catch the light so, so beautifully. Here's this beautiful shade called Reagan. I've even used Reagan on the inner corner in one of the campaign images and love, love, love the way it looks. Um, it is more of a cool toned green, so you're not going to get a lot of that warmth in there, but if you wanted to mix it with Firefly, you could bring a little bit more warmth to it. And here's the shade Bailey. Bailey is one of my other best friends, Amanda. She was my first boss and my first ever job when I was 16. Her dog's name is Bailey and I wanted to dedicate a shade to her because I did mention in the first round the shade BFF I had in mind Amanda when I was creating that because Amanda doesn't really use a lot of color um, but now Amanda you're gonna have to because Bailey's very very bright and very gorgeous and it's what is on the center of my eye today. Okay so this is the last shade and this is the shade Confetti and Confetti is a gorgeous 
deep purple. It's what I have on my outer lid right here, as you can tell, and it just flows with Bailey and Regan so beautifully. This palette is going to retail for $20. You're gonna need 18 shades, a mirror, and the sticker sheet does come with it, so please feel free to create. Um, you don't have to use just these stickers. If you wanna put stickers on that you have from anything else, please put it on. I would love to see the designs you do when you get them, so tag me in any photos because I wanna see what everyone comes up with, and if you wanna paint on this, maybe you wanna keep the sticker sheet inside, um, paint on it. If you want to put the stickers on your phone, on your computer, whatever you want to do, this palette is really a blank canvas and I that's how I look at my eyes when I'm doing my makeup is it's a blank canvas and I can create whatever mood I'm feeling in. So definitely let that be a reflection of your palette. Um, whatever you want to come across make that, create it, and I cannot wait to see your creations. So here is the eyeshadow topper duo slash liquid shadow duo called Suki to my heart. We were doing this before e.l.f. had even launched their liquid shadows, which is so crazy um, to think that we've been working on this for so long. So when you pull it out, you get dual sided, as you can tell, um, our names are right there and it says Suki to my heart. So let's start off with the first shade called I'm Pupset. And if you remember Alien from our first round, this is Alien's glittery sister and oh my goodness, I wanted an element of our first round into this. And so that's where I really came up with the idea of making a glittery alien. And is named I'm Pupset because if you know Zuma, she is constantly Pupset. Uh, she constantly is pouty and it's just so funny and we always ask her if she's Pupset. And so this is her shade called I'm Pupset. Oh, and I also have this on my inner corner today as well. I forgot to mention that. Um, and then the next shade is, it has a clear base and it's called What a Pity Smile. And I think pits have the best smile. Um, Suki's smile like gets me every single time. And so I wanted it to be about pit smiles and I just couldn't nail it down. And then it hit me and I was like, what a pity smile. It is a clear base, so you can have it over any other eye shadow. Um, you can also put it on your inner corner. I've worn this all over my lid by itself and it gives a glossy reflect when it's in the sun. It's really stunning. Um, and so with it having that clear base, you can put it over blue, you can put it over orange, you can really do whatever you want with it. And you can even, if you want it extra shimmer with this, you could tap it on, on top of it and it looks beautiful. It has different reflex all throughout it and I really love this shade and they nailed it when I wanted something to make the lid look wet. This duo will be retailing for $12. So next up are these six brushes. These are the Forever Brush Set, um, F-U-R. They are vegan and cruelty-free, of course, so they are made of synthetic fibers, but that does not mean that they are scratchy or rough. They are so soft. Also, the handles, do you die? Because I die. They're so shiny and so reflective. When I wanted to put a brush set together, I was thinking of my ideal brushes, um, and these brushes, e.l.f. does not sell. So they are going to be different shapes than what e.l.f. has in their lineup already, um, which is very exciting. So they are exclusive to this brush set, and I'm very excited. I know e.l.f. does have some angled brushes, but this one is a little bit different, which you will see in a second. Let's jump into it. Okay, J1. And I cannot believe they all say my name. That is mind-blowing to me. Uh, J1 is a flat, stiff brush. Perfect for if you want to pack on color all over the lid. I also like to use this. This can be used in so many different ways. All of these brushes can be used in a lot of different ways, actually. And another way I like to use this brush is if I have a stubborn spot on my face um, that is just not wanting to cover with my normal concealer, I'll pick up a little bit of a heavier duty concealer on this brush and then tap it right over that spot and it helps it so so much. Up next is J2. So think of this brush as a little bit more of a defined blending brush. I like to use this brush when I am either doing outer corner work and I really want to wing the shadow out like I have today or if I'm using a darker shade and I really want to concentrate it right in that socket of the crease that is what I will use it for. It is domed at the top so you are going to get a little bit of precision as you start to blend and if you are someone like me that has been loving doing just one color all over the crease and lid. You can also use this, turn it on its side, and it, since it does have that fluffiness to it, you can use it to pack on and it just effortlessly blends right into the singular crease shade. J3 is the blending brush of my dreams. Funny side story, um, my sister-in-law Amber was here when I had the samples and I was actually having her help me pick 
this particular brush. And so, Amber, uh, thank you for helping me. So this brush is your perfect crease brush. Um, you can do literally every single crease with this um, if you wanted to blend out concealer. I also like to use this to apply highlighter because it's going to target the highest of high cheekbones. And it's really gonna target those areas if you wanna um, use it for powder and do like precision powdering, it's great for that. A diffused lip, this brush is my baby and it is the perfect crease brush. J4 is a pencil brush and in my first collection I had a dual ended pencil and crease brush. I physically cannot do an eyeshadow look without those two brushes so we had to bring it to life. And so this pencil brush is great for smoking out the lower lash line. If you have a pencil that you smudge on your lower lash line you can really just use this to blend out and diffuse everything. I also like to use this on the inner corner as well. Up next is J5. Now you know that I love um, a very thin angled liner brush because I love to use it for gel liner and I find that when they're thinner you get a really nice precise line and so um, I needed a thin angle brush in my life and this is that. You can also use it to fill in your brows if you want or work on your lower lash line. And finally we have J6 which is like a detail king brush. I like to use this with concealer underneath my brows to clean up my brow shape. If um, my brows are like growing out a little bit it helps to cover up that hair. Also it's great for lower lash line work. Um, you can use it to clean up concealer around your lips. It's really just such a great detail brush. Um, um, that now I cannot live without. So these six brushes retail for $25. Okay everyone, so that is it. Um, quickly before I leave, I wanted to let you know that on 525, which is in two days, e.l.f. will be having a loyalty launch on their website. It's super easy to sign up on their homepage. They have a thing that says notify me. You click on that, you enter your email, and you are good to go. If you wanted to wait, on 527 will be the official launch on elfcosmetics.com. And then on 529, it will be available on alta.com. And on 531, depending on where you are, I know things are crazy because of the coronavirus and maybe some retailers aren't open right now but hopefully they'll start opening so potentially if they are open around your area on 531 Alta every single Alta store is getting this collection oh my gosh that feels crazy and so surreal to say um, I'm very taken aback by this and I'm so thankful for every single person that has put everything into this collection and so thankful for all of you. I hope this collection makes you proud and excited to wear it because I am so excited about this and I hope you especially love the campaign images because um, a very special person shot them. Chris, my friend Emma did the hair, my nails were amazing, um, Jolene did the nails, the styling was one of the best stylings I've ever had. I felt so confident and I got to keep the shirt from um, what we shot in and this necklace is from what we shot in too so I had so much fun with this campaign and just a quick recap on May 25th the loyalty members for elf Cosmetics.com will be able to pick up the collection. On May 27th, it will be available to everyone. On May 29th, Alta.com. And finally, on May 31st, Alta stores, if they are open in your area. If you are able and feel comfortable um, and your store is open and you go see it and you see the display, can you please send me a picture? Because I would really love to see it since I don't think I will be able to see it. Um, but I will be doing, maybe maybe I'll curbside pick it up, you know? And also I quickly wanted to mention that this collection is limited edition, so once it is gone, it is gone. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them down below. Tweet me, um, send me an Instagram message, Instagram comment. I will try to get back to as many questions as I can. And once again, the palette retails for $20. The Suki to My Heart Eyeshadow Duo retails for $12, and the six-piece brush set retails for $25. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and so let's go create. I love you so much, and I cannot wait to see everything you do with this collection, and I will see you next time. Bye.